Hey there everyone, it's Thackard and welcome back to another Survival Fountain of Youth tutorial. Now, over on the Discord, the thing that I see discussed the most often, well, just behind, where can I find the big stick, is combat. People seem to be having issues with the combat system. And I think that's mainly because people just don't understand it. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you some, you know, things that I have learned about the combat system, and hopefully that will give you the advantage when you go up against those birds. I know you guys hate the birds. I'm going to show you how to deal with those guys. All right, let's get to it. Combat in Survival Fountain of Youth is actually pretty straightforward, and it is very easy to get a hang of once you know what to do. The key to all combat is timing when to attack and how long to hold up your charge you might be going thicker charge well we can always just left click our button to do a little poke attack here but if we hold down the left trigger it will begin to charge up our attack and if you look at the top there if we get all the way to the top of our attack bars we get red tips and when we attack and hit something with those red tips it will stop whatever they're doing. So they can be in the middle of their attack. If we hit them when we are in the red, we will stop their attack and you will take no damage. So it's all about timing of giving yourself enough time to charge up your attack and then releasing it at the right time. There you go. We stopped this guy. We'll just follow him up. Give him a little or Hit in the butt, and there we go. Fortunately, we broke our spear there, so what we got now is just our normal, ordinary club. So let's see if we can be just as lucky with this guy. Let's see if we can't find ourselves another skunk. Oh, I hear one. And I see one. Remember, it is all about timing. So give yourself enough time to charge up. And then release right before they get you. And there you go. And then just club them over the head one more time and you're good to go. Now some weapons do do more damage than others. Especially as you're advancing into the stone weapons. But as long as you are hitting your timings correctly. It should not matter what weapon you are using. Alright, now to deal with my least favorite animal in the game. The snakes. Now, you do not want to just go poking a stick at a snake. That will end badly. What you want to do with snakes is you want to throw your weapon at them. You can throw something by using the right mouse button and then clicking the left mouse button. Uh, you can use any type of weapon. We can even use our little axe here. So if we hold our right mouse button, we aim at them, click left, and there we go. One snake taken care of and never to be worried about again. Or at least for a bit. And in an earlier video, I had talked about the importance of cartography for finding things like resources. Another reason to fill out your map is so you can tell what exactly is going to be in the area you're getting into. So we're entering this area to the northeast of the island, which means we're going to have to deal with jackals. Jackals are dogs, and the issue with them is, one, they are tougher, two, they bite harder, and three, they come in packs. You might think that you're dealing with just one, but when they howl, it will bring in the other surrounding jackals in the area. So you can quickly be surrounded and outnumbered and soon dead. The best way to deal with these jackals is to land stopping blows with your stone spear. And I definitely suggest having a stone spear before you go after them. You can use wood, but it makes it a lot more difficult. Two, shooting, trying to shoot them at range with your bow and arrow. And three, use the terrain to your advantage. If you can get into a position where they cannot easily get to you, where you can cover a small area, so much the better. Because they will try to surround you. And if you can prevent that, that's good. Here we go. Alright, we landed a stopping blow there. That one means we 
Backed him off. Oh, missed that one, but we still we still hit him, but we didn't get our stopping blow. Alright, so we knocked this guy down. Let's go try and find a couple more. Now, you can hit a stopping blow if your charge up is in the red when you hit them. That will hit them with a stopping blow, which will prevent you from taking any damage because it will stop their attack. Stop them in mid attack. Now, I definitely suggest that you follow any of these dogs and take them out because you do not want to deal with them later. So chasing down the dogs is a good thing. Plus they give you some pretty solid resources. When you're hunting, patience is very important. Right now we're going after some chicken. And they're very skittish. So he's right behind these rocks. There we go. All right. It's time for dinner. All right, everybody. We've been hunting some deer. We found one right here. We're going to take a shot at it. We went, we missed white. Oh, we got it. Excellent. We are now a bow hunter. All right, so right now we're over by our starting base here, and we're going to be hunting some boar. We'll usually find boar deep in the forested areas. In this case, there is one down here, and he's kind of by this wetland area as well. So we're going to try and sneak up on them. Now, the boars won't, like, uh, chase you down or try and hunt you the way that say a jackal will but once you do spook them they will continue to fight you so you see over there we got a boar and he's pretty chill pretty tame once we throw down on him he will keep coming after us until one of us falls to the ground so we better make sure it's him are we going to try and land those stopping blows Ooh. We did land a sapping blow, but too late. All right. There we go. Gotta land that stopping blow when he's charging us. We're gonna chase him down. All right, there we go. Killed him with a little bit of everything. And boars have a lot of good stuff on them. Look at all this stuff we can loot. Oh, wonderful. Many people fear birds, but just remember to keep your timings right. Get your charge up and release it right before they hit you. And you should hit a stopping blow every single time. And another thing is with most birds, because of the way that they dive at you, you can hit a headshot most of the time as well. So it doesn't matter what weapon you use, whether it's a spear or an axe, you should be able to kill a bird every single time. If you're using a club, it might take two hits, but you should still be able to land the stopping blow as to not take any damage. All right, so we'll use our axe this time. This is the starter axe, nothing special here. See, stone axe. We're gonna wait for him to start diving in on us. Wait for it. All right, start to charge. And then release. There you go. One dead birdie. If you have a question related to combat, please leave it down below in the comment section. If you have a question unrelated to combat, please leave that down below in the comment section as well, and I will try my best to answer any of your questions.
All right, guys. I hope this has helped you out. And just remember, it is all about the timing. So go get them birds. If you enjoyed or disliked this video, I do hope you comment on it and give it a thumbs up or down. If you want to see new videos, please hit the subscribe button. And to be notified of new content when it comes out, hit the notification bell. But for now, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day, and don't forget to bring it no matter what you do. And I will see you guys in the next video.